How's it going everybody? My name's Eric and in this video we're going to do an unboxing initial impressions on a thermal printer. Who would have guessed it? This is an MF label, private label brand. The actual model number is DT426B. I purchased it off of Amazon a couple months ago. It's just been sitting in a pile <laughs> needing to be unboxed and played with, but I have so many projects going on. It's hard to get to all of these printers. Supposedly, according to the Amazon listing, this only works for Windows. So I'm gonna try some Mac drivers to see if I can get this bad boy working on a Mac. That would be amazing. This printer is currently listed for $129.99 on Amazon. For a Windows only printer, I would say that's okay of a price, but I ended up paying $70 for this shipped, I believe it was Amazon Prime, to my door. There was a coupon code circulating around Instagram at the time. I got hooked up, I posted it on my Instagram story, some other people got hooked up, bought all the printers. I think they bought them out of printers with that coupon code. $70, it seems like a steal of a deal, but I am excited to open this thing up, get into it, see if we can get it printing with Mac, because the Amazon listing says that we can't. So let's open the box, see what's inside, break the impossible, see if we can get it working on Mac, then MF Label can adjust their Amazon listing and sell a bunch more printers to Mac users. Before we get into the unboxing, if you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions throughout the video, put them in the comments section. And if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and let's get into the unboxing. Here is our printer, comes in a plain brown box, barcode printer, spelled correctly a nice little graphic of the printer. So this box was specifically made for this printer. It isn't just some generic box. We don't have a crush rating. I'm so sorry, Andy, but we do have six, it looks like copper staples. And this thing is solid. I don't know if there's a box inside of this box or if this box is just that strong, but let's get a straight razor, pop it open and see what we have inside. Bam. Look at that. We have our printer in the perfectly formed pillow package. I've had a couple printers come like this. It's a really nice way to ship it. It looks like they got some side packaging for the pillows and we have, it looks like will be our charger, our USB cable, three prong power cord that goes into our power supply. We have our power supply, 24 volts, 2.5 amps, the Epson, receipt printer style power supply. This, which will probably go inside the printer for holding labels. Don't wanna lose that. We actually get some instructions, which is nice, but unfortunately, most computers don't have CD drives anymore, but it looks like they included a Seagull bartender driver, which is a, a, a good driver. Seagull makes good drivers. And we have a quick installation guide that is helpful when a lot of the Chinese printers don't come with quick installation guides. So yeah, that's that. Um, I will I will not be using this printer installation guide. I'm just going to try to figure it out as I go along to see if I can get it working and hopefully we will. Before we install this thing, let's take a look at the printer. It comes nicely bagged to protect it from dust and whatnot. It's got a power switch, our power in USB, and then a cutout for some other accessory that they might have. It is made in China. MF Label is the private label brand, and they did tape the front to make it a little bit difficult to get into. It does have the closing locking levers on the side. It's got a feed button on the top and a little window to see if your labels are running out. And back here is the slot where you can put a roll that won't fit into the printer, slide it through the back, or you can use fan fold if you wanna use the fan fold labels. This does have the option to, this does have the option to put rolls inside of it, which in my opinion is the better design. They gave us a little test print, which means that this printer is probably calibrated for this, this dimension of label and not for four by six. Inside of the printer, we got our print head up top. A very easy design to clean. It's very similar to the way Zebra printers are designed. We're gonna rest our label holder into that slot and then you can adjust those little arms and then these feed guides accordingly, depending on your label sides. Here is their platen roll. 
which is a new term that I've learned over the last couple of days. That is what grips the labels and spits it out. It's a rubbery texture that is replaceable. If you get too much adhesive, dust, or gunk on it, and over time the rubber could break down, and if your printer's not feeding correctly, it's probably something to do with the integrity of that rubber. And if you flick these two levers and somehow find the replacement part, you should be able to take this out and replace it if necessary. But that's something like years and years and years down the road if you have to replace it. I'm gonna drop that back in, tighten those down. Let's get this bad boy powered on and calibrated. Power supply goes into the back of the printer with the flat side facing up. USB cable goes in the back. Power cord goes into the wall. Printer gets turned on. Oh, sweet, it's got a purple light. That's pretty cool, purple and blue. I'm gonna use a four by six core roll that I'm going to feed behind the printer, so I'm not going to need to use this. If I were using this, I would load it like this, something like that, and then drop it into there. Something like that if I were using this, but I'm not using this. I'm going to be using this for now. I'm gonna feed it through the back. I'm gonna place this off camera so you guys can see mostly just the printer. And I'm going to feed this through those little feed guides. Press down. All right, I think it's auto calibrating. That's pretty nice if that's what it did. And I think it did. I believe the printer just recognized the labels because when I'm pressing the button, it's feeding one label. So that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna install this on a Windows computer, see what we can get going. I'm gonna install it on Android, see if that'll work, and then I'm gonna try to install it on Mac, see if that'll work. I'll come back and show you guys what we got. A few moments later. All right, about an hour or so of tinkering with different computers, and I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised with this guy, because I certainly am. All right, we're on a Windows. Sample label printing. Look at that. And here we are on a Mac with a USB-C converter. I will put a link to this in the description because things like these are needed for the newer Macs if you have a newer Mac. Sample label, send it to printer. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. So even though the Amazon listing says not compatible with Mac, we break the rules sometimes. And we're also on Android, we're gonna send a test print to the printer. We got a label from our phone. I will put a link to how I did that in the corner right there if you're interested and in the description. USB-C cables are amazing. So if you can't already tell the excitement in my voice, I am pretty stoked on the compatibilities of this printer. More than the Amazon listing says that it's capable of. The fact that it works with Android makes me think that it'll also work with Google Chromebook. I don't have a Chromebook with me to test, but I'm almost certain via this process, it will work with a Chromebook. The compatibilities of this MF label DT426B are right on par with the Xprinter XB DT108B. I think Xprinter and MF label, if you start looking at those labels, they kind of look really similar. The models look really similar. I think we're into some sort of private label battle between these guys. And I believe the guts of these are gonna be very similar. The, um, the power supplies are similar. Looks like a lot of the same components were used. So even if you look on the side here, the little lifters are triangular. I'm calling pedigree of this going back to China and coming from the same factory and then getting private labeled somewhere between these two guys. So the tutorials for this video installation on Mac and Windows will be coming out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up. If you have any questions about the printers, put them in the comment section. So if you aren't already subscribed to the channel, consider subscribing and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.